Hello everybody, I am the infamous Tony and welcome to my channel. Today we're playing a game that was suggested by one of you and I didn't even know that it was out yet and it saddens me because I was... I love this series, it was so awesome and, and I thought 4 was the end of it, but apparently not. Um, so now we're playing Being One, Episode 5, Infection. I'm really excited about this. This is another one of those great point and click psionic games. Uh, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. This is cool. I can't, I can't wait to just jump right in and see what's happening here. So, uh, let me make sure that my volume level stuff is like I want it. Obviously not. Oh yeah, now I can hear stuff. <laughs> I was having, I was having some problems there. Okay, so let's just jump right into it and see what's going on. Activate the inventory. First things first, you are encased in a complex armored suit, and as such, you have access to certain tools and information. Cool. I like it already. To activate the inventory, click the icon on the top right corner, the eyeball that blinks at me. Okay, try it now before moving on. Sure. Click. Ooh, evidence might... Ooh, I have a gun. I like that I have a gun. I don't... Well, I kind of like that I have a gun. <laughs> Evidence micros microscope. That is a that is not a microscope. That is not a microscope. Uh, auto hacker multi tool. You always need a good multi tool, but that looks more like a Swiss Army knife. But okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, um, <coughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> The story so far, you escaped the lab before it exploded and found out that you were some kind of super being, a unique creation of the universe itself. You have regenerative qualities that make you indestructible. That's good. You can be destroyed, but you inevitably reform, drawing upon universal elements. Your memory is slowly coming back to you in flashbacks, and you're beginning to realize that you have existed for a very long time. Eons, in fact. Excuse me. <coughs> wow. <clears throat> Okay, so, uh, there's more stuff. A woman named Venus, Dr. Rykoff's former assistant, was helping you to escape, but you lost contact with her and she may have died in the blast. Uh, you also discovered that Dr. Rykoff has been performing various experiments and DNA altering treatments on you in a bid to discover your secrets. He claimed his intentions were honorable, but you know mankind well, capable of such uh, beautiful creations and conversely such horrific mass destruction. Okay, so, before I go any further into this, if you guys haven't watched my Let's Play of Being One episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, click on the little button that I'm putting over here and that'll take you to episode 1 and start watching there because this is a ongoing story that has been uh, taking place and it's actually pretty cool. Anyway. Moving right along, after the lab was destroyed, drifting through space, you were found and reunited with your people, greeted as a long-lost king, a leader reunited. I can like that. You needed to rest upon awakening, uh, wait, you needed to rest and upon awakening you found that your people had taken it upon themselves to destroy the planet Earth. Oh, that's nice of them. In order to, the order to stop was given before the earth was almost entirely cleansed of human life. Dr. Rycroft let you, left you co coordinates, coordinates, and you intend to find out exactly what he did to you. You head for those coordinates and take a small ship to what scans reveal to be a nano station, a very small station. New evidence found. I have new evidence. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to dodge crap? Are you kidding me? I wasn't ready. Not ready at all. Oh, hi. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, are, uh, okay. I made it. I wasn't ready for that, but I made it. Okay. <laughs> Moving right along into the, whatever this is. I like the music. The music's nice. Did I just... I just crashed into the side of this... I, I'm, a, I'm a great driver. No, really. I'm a great driver. Into the nano station. You are soaked in radiation screening fluid. Beautiful. 
I see you escaped the lab in one piece. Sorry about all that, but once Venus had enabled your escape from the pod, I knew there was going to be trouble. I also knew the lab wouldn't contain you, so I left a little hint as to where you could find me, should you survive. This place is far more secure. I took the liberty of including nanobots in that little shower. Right now, they're invading your system, and very shortly, you will be disabled. Sorry, but you're just too damn important to the human race. Oh, that was nice of him. Internal detection systems active. What the what? Well, that's not the direction I need to make that go. Um... Ah! Excuse me. <laughs> I made things move. I feel like I need to go this way. Okay, that looks good. And this needs to go this way? Maybe? Yes? 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 Yes! Internal monitors is nano detected intentions hostile. Why? What can I do about this? Okay, whatever. There's cameras. Awesome. What? Is this the uh oh the Falcon medium range attack ship with the border? That's because that's awesome. Okay, flight range is near infinite. Good, I can like that. Nowhere else to go. Hi! Holy crap! What the crap? Um. Should I be shooting things? I feel like I should be shooting things. <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole, man. This is so... <laughs> this is kind of silly, but I'm, I'm fine with it. New evidence... Why? Why? What new evidence have I... What new evidence have I found? Oh, The MK2 multi-pistol. This pistol uses a range of electromagnetic frequencies to cause damage no matter what the target, organic or mechanical. This gun, this gun can blast through any material and cause damage beyond normal weaponry. I can like that. I can like that a lot. The MK2 includes data gathered from the Sanguine Chalice found recently. For those of you that haven't watched that, go check out the thing. Found recently and is very useful against undead enemies, organic and inorganic, etc. Mm, very nice, very nice. Is there anything else I need to find up in here? No? Dr. Rycroft, I underestimated you yet again. I thought the combination of those lethal nanos and the security guns would leave you as a pile of meat that my men could simply come in and scrape up. I am not worried, however, the nanos may have lost the battle for now, but the war is far from over. Trust me, they are very persistent and I should know as I design them. Sit tight, the lift is locked down and there is no way up here from down there. The nanos will disable you shortly and I shall reacquire you for my research. I don't like this guy. The lift needs a data pad. Dr. Rycroft has locked the lift down. The only way to get it working again is to shut down four auxiliary power systems so it has enough power to function and we can hack into it. Okay. Uh, the nanos have somehow found a way out of their cultivating zone. They're multiplying rapidly and eating their way through metal wiring and sensor system. Dr. Rycroft has left us all here to die. After all we have done for him, he just locked us down here with those things loose. There's a rumor that this station has a teleporter, but even if we could get up there, could we even figure out how to use it? Dr. Eric Dorf has gone missing. Uh, he's quite perplexed. It's quite perplexing as there is no way out of... Is that... That's it? That's the only... Uh, I can't pick it up. More empty crates. Labs. Oh, look. There's labs. Locked. Labs. Holy crap! Wasn't ready! Was not ready! Was not ready! Not ready for that! Whew! <laughs> this poor wretch deserved to die. I had to put it out of its misery. These things are an abomination. Dr. Rycroft has the blood of many on his hands, and I'm going to make him pay for that. The nanos are obviously infecting these humans, taking control of them and using them as their puppets. Who knows what these things want? I need to scan the remains with my microscope to determine what's going on inside. Maybe I can find out how to cure my own infection. 
Okay. What am I supposed to do? Um, looking for abnormal cells. Okay. Uh, micros microscope evidence results. There is something strange about these nanos. They are displaying signs of rudimentary intelligence, and this is driving the human cells around them crazy in some way. A patient infected by these things would endure incredible pain, and I can only assume control uh, would be gained by the nanos in a very short time. I must learn more about these things if I am to defeat them. Okay. Uh, the pod is open. The pod, there's a switch. Pod deactivated. It's hot in here. There's a terminal. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. sure what I'm doing here. There's a thing. Th this thing does a thing. Somehow. 4266. I guess I have to be faster than that. 837. Dang it, okay. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh wait, data pad, okay. Dr. Rykar is babysitting these nano slaves. I hate them, they're so creepy. Sometimes uh, when I'm monitoring their life sense, if you can call them that, their eyes just watch me after Dr. Eric Dorf went missing recently. Rycroft suddenly in introduce these human test subjects. I assume Dorf was sacked due to his outspoken opinions on the matter. The nanoslaves have electrical welders attached to their forearms. I assume that they will be used in some kind of industrial role for Weston Carnadine. At least that's what others are suggesting. They twitch from time to time as the welders spark on occasion. There's something not quite right about these things. You think? Okay, I really want to... Can I inspect this thing with the thing? I'm, I'm so, so... Why? Okay, there's something to do with these numbers. Okay. Figured it out. I'm smart. I know things. Okay. Next corridor. Oh, something broke the door. That looks love. There are strange noises. I don't like strange noises. Oh, that's nice. Another skinned human. That's the first one I've seen, but we'll call it another. Looks like it burst out. Look at data pad. Report 8762. Subject seems erratic. Lots of flickering eye movements. Sudden violent twitches and its welders flicker on and off at random. The subject shows extremely high brainwave activity, which is quite impossible due to the fact that the test subject was brain dead upon arrival. There are numerous inconsistencies, big word, <laughs> with the data leading me to believe that, that this subject uh, be flushed into space ASAP. Upon typing this, uh, the subject has become increasingly violent. It is convulsing and screaming in synthesized pain. I think I will have to. And we don't know what happened after that. Lovely. 
Uh, glass everywhere. Looks like it burst out. Blood everywhere. Another skinned human. Can I ex microscope you? No? Okay. Uh, but if this thing works, I can do this. Hack Dr. Rycroft files. Dr. Rycroft files are protected by secure several layers of randomly generated security. You must bypass the red defenders. Click up, down, left, and right arrows on screen to move. The green marker is a firewall weakness. Reach it to allow access to the next layer. Get through all three layers to access the files. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm the li I'm the little one. Okay. Ha ha! <laughs> layer bypass. You have bypass the weakness in the firewall. Quick, continue to the next layer. Okay. Okay. I don't like this at all. Okay. You have disabled security systems. You now have access to right cross files. Read carefully as knowledge is power. Continue. Yay. Dr. Rycroft notes 34891. The being is definitely something special. His regenerative qualities alone are of such value to me and the rest of the human race that I simply must reacquire him. Weston Carnandine's desire to collect unique animals, aliens, myths, and legends has allowed me to work with all manner of creatures in recent years, from vampires uh, to lycanthropes. I don't know if I pronounced that word right. From aliens to the undead. But in all those experiments, I have never seen anything like the being. He is truly unique. I am not even sure he is of this universe. He has qualities that defy quantum mechanics, others that contradict molecular physics, biophysics, and general relativity. I must trap him again to further my studies. I'm not sure if all of those scientific fields are accurate to describe a, a being. But okay. Hacking attempts. There have been numerous attempts to intrude upon my system recently, unsuccessful attempts uh, to discover the location of the being, these users are apparently believers of the being as a god and have tracked down and eliminated by agents of Western Guard. Hopefully this will prevent further intrusions. Okay. Huh. Cool. Venus Callahan. It has come to my attention that Venus actually escaped from the station after she freed the being. Footage shows her outrunning a pack of werewolves and even managing to save a small girl before escaping in a pod. This is quite remarkable considering what she is. She is learning human traits at a phenomenal rate, much faster than I anticipated. I will be sending a ship to intercept her. Venus's attachment to the being could help in the manipulation of him. He may be superhuman, but he still appears to care for certain humans. Even though he doesn't know that Venus isn't technically a human, she will be sent to my Earth base and held until I get there. There's a lot of information in this. This whole station was built by Nanotech to be a huge teleporter, an alternative to costly interstellar travel. It links up with my research base on Earth directly and allows me to move items of questionable nature back and forth without the knowledge of the governing bodies of Earth. Weston Carnadine's funded the research and intends to place teleport receivers in various strategic locations allowing him to move items at rates other companies can only dream of. A competitive edge indeed. It takes a lot of power to activate it and things must be set up perfectly. Most tests so far have been successful. A few inverted test subjects <laughs> along the way but they are within tolerable levels. I'm Inverted test subjects. If you've ever watched uh, the, the the film uh, Galaxy Quest, you'll get why I'm laughing at that. But yeah, okay. So apologies. Things are weird and things are creepy, and I've already had my first little scare of the game, and I'm enjoying that so very much. 
Uh, but I'm going to stop this video here and pick back up in just a little bit because I don't know how long this episode is going to be. So I don't want to drag this on for hours. So here's the first video in this series. The next one is coming your way very, very soon. I'm going to try to get on a regular upload schedule for you guys so that you guys know exactly when I'm going to have a video coming your way. So I'm going to have to do a little finagling to find out when I'm going to do that. But look for an update video from me coming up this Sunday to let you guys know exactly when I plan to upload videos. Uh, I'll try to have the next part of this to you guys uh, tomorrow at some point in time. But uh, yeah, if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, be sure to click on the subscribe button before you leave here and give me a like if you're enjoying this so far. This is a lot of story and there's a lot more to come, I'm sure. So yeah, fun times. Thank you for suggesting this title and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take that risk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was sick. I just.